Hey, what's up, guys? Joe Sting right here again for another horror movie review for the House of Horror. Got a good one for you today. This is Body Parts from 1991. And uh, this is one I used to watch a lot on a VHS, used to rent this a lot. And uh, this really brings back fond memories of that time period in my life. But uh, I started uh, when I watched this movie like last week sometime, I was thinking about it. I said, man, I really need to start doing a series of videos on 90s horror because it seems like it's become a current trend of a lot of folks, you know, on YouTube and other places to kind of shit on 90s horror. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, I mainly grew up in the 90s. I was born 1980, and I mainly grew up in the 90s. So uh, a lot of that stuff I hold near and dear. You know, it may be uh, kind of you know, shitty and dated now, but a lot of that stuff I think is really cool. People really just don't remember any of the 90s except for the Scream stuff these days. And I think there's a lot more to it, so I may start doing a uh, series of videos on 90s horror movies, but uh, this is a really good one. It's a really unique story and uh, stars uh, Jeff Fahey, uh, Lindsey Duncan, and Brad Dorff, and a bunch of other folks that you won't really recognize the names of. It's directed by Eric Red, and I looked him up, and I haven't really, uh, I haven't recognized any of the stuff he's done. Done some other, you know, B-horror movies that I'm going to check out eventually, but not really a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, but the uh, premise of this film is uh, Jeff Fahey plays a uh, psychiatrist, and uh, he gets in a car accident, loses his arm, and his wife has to make a snap decision, and they're doing an experimental program where uh, they're donating body parts. Um, you know, they're actually able to transplant whole body parts. So uh, someone uh, donates a, an arm and he, you know, gets the arm sewn on, you know, it shows him going through rehab and everything. And he's, uh, you know, back to, back to normal as you would think, but he uh, starts to get more aggressive and his arm sometimes gets a mind of its own. It kind of does things without him controlling it. You know, it, uh, you know, cuts himself shaving, you know, small things like that. And he eventually uh, learns, he does some research and learns that this arm came from a, uh, a death row inmate, a prisoner, and uh, does some more research and finds out that not only did he get the arm, but the another person got the other arm and then another person got both legs so he finds those people and uh you know they're having similar issues and you know they kind of bond over that but uh um basically you know he figures out what's going on at the end of the film and you know so i won't spoil any more of the film uh ending's really cool uh you, you won't see it coming and uh i don't know it's just really good writing i think is what sets this one apart and of course you know, Jeff Fahey, Brad Dourif, you know, great actors, uh, you know, work, you know, worked in the horror genre quite a few times themselves. And, uh, you know, just, just really enjoyable film. I, you know, I get a, a big kick out of a big kick out of it still today. Uh, it's a fun watch. There's some decent gore effects in there. Not really a whole lot going on, but when it, you know, when it does have some, some special effects shots, they look good. But, uh, yeah, I'd highly recommend this one for a rental, you know, or, you know, if you can find a cheap DVD, check it out. Let me know what you think, but uh, I think this is one that needs to be talked about a little more because it's, uh, it's a good film. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Peace.